Welcome back everyone, Toys Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse video. And today, we are going to be checking out not one, not two, not three, but four Green Lanterns from the McFarlane Toys Collector's Edition line. Why four, you ask? Well, you must not know the DC Multiverse line by McFarlane Toys. So, First and foremost, the standard, regular, every day, you'll probably find it on the store shelves, Green Lantern, right? So you're probably thinking, well, that's cool. Well, in the box, you get Tomar Ray, and then you get an extra Abin Sewer head portrait, because if you really think about it, that's two characters. So you're going to need two figures to really have two bodies for each of the head portraits. But wouldn't you know it, of course, there has to be a Platinum Edition version of this Green Lantern. And yes, the sticker right on the box just glares at you now. Coming soon, red Platinums, gold Platinums, all the Platinums under the rainbow. But of course, this has Arcus Chamuk and Green Man for their head portraits. So then, you're really going to need to have an extra regular version, or you could get two Platinums. It's up to you, but that just sounds like a headache in and of itself. And here's the barcode in case you want to venture out and look for these. The Platinums are really becoming a thing, aren't they? But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast, hopefully. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Green Lantern and the Platinum Edition Green Lantern from the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse McFarlane Collector's Edition line. And right before we get started, I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who continues to tune into my DC Multiverse videos. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Why? Well, we have old toys. We got new toys. Daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So on the Platinum Edition side, you have a different styled costume for the Green Lantern Corps, along with two head portraits. And then you have a little bit extra green for the costume with two extra head portraits. But across the board... Regardless if you get platinum or if you get the standard, it comes with the exact same accessories. The heads are the only difference. Here, I'll just show you. So there you go. If you get three standards, one platinum, you get all four characters going. And pretty much in the costumes that in doing my research, I would say, yeah, that is more or less the costumes that you would see them in for the respective Green Lantern Corps. You do get this really cool Green Lantern green construct. It's completely transparent. It has a hook on the back, which just allows you to hook onto their wrists. And so you can do battle with all the various villains in your DC Multiverse collection. And I think that is a pretty stellar accessory. I definitely dig it. Another great accessory across the board is that every single figure will come with a Green Lantern lantern. Who to thunk it, right? So you get a little dab of paint right in the middle to make it look like it's glowing, but you also get the respective hands with each character to then charge up their Green Lantern power ring. This, however, is something I've been asking for. It's kind of a no-brainer, especially with superheroes. It is a already attached Green Lantern ring burst of energy. It's completely transparent. It doesn't come off. It doesn't do anything. The paint could have been a little bit better around the whitish of the glove, but I absolutely love the way that this looks. This looks so cool, especially when you're going to be blasting a Superboy because he punched through some crystal in space or whatever. If you were wondering, can you swap it out with the recent digital release of the Green Lantern, Hal Jordan? Not really. It doesn't stay on. It will stay on if you just leave it, but it doesn't fit. But Lo and behold, the John Stewart figure, those will fit nicely. So you can swip swap all of the accessories, including this. And I thought it was a burst at first, but it is a power construct of Ganthets. I'm assuming one of the guardians, right, of the universe. But we'll just call it Ganthet for lack of a better term. It could be a burst of energy if you angle it correctly, but I absolutely love that. I think that's such a cool little accessory, especially if you have Tomare trying to call for backup. And yes, his head portrait says it all right there. You also get several extra hands. Now, these are kind of a mix between flying hands 
and how you doing shake my hand kind of hands. There's not really much difference between the two, but the main gripe that I'll say across the board is that the green rings are painted on one side, but if you look at the palms, they are not painted. The other sort of style of hand is really all not that different. At least you get a little bit of a parage there, but regardless of which you really go for, whether it be flying or kind of battle ready hands, yeah, that totally looks cool. I like the differences on those. And on top of those hands, you also get a fisted hand to mirror the ring power hand. Now, in terms of looking at the figures, we'll kick it off with Tomar Ray. And really, the head portraits are going to be the main topic here of which we discuss because everything else is the same. It's just going to be the very generic body. As Tomar Ray is kind of a alien fish parrot, they've really painted him to the nines. I love the fin, the ears, the eye mask, the mouth. They absolutely rock that. And I will say this, McFarlane Toys, if you have more of these humanoid bodies, humanish qualities, make all the extra head portraits you want. You really did a great job in terms of this quote unquote army builder pack for your Green Lantern members. In Tomar Ray's pack, of course, like I said, you have the Abin Sur. Now, regardless of the history of Abin Sur, whether he's dead or alive or however they've retconned it, the head portrait is stellar on this guy. I love the wash, the face, the little accents of paint on the lips. Again, that looks so cool. And coupled with all of the accessories, everything that makes a Green Lantern a Green Lantern, heck yeah, that is just so cool. Everything looks great on this guy. In terms of the Platinum, we have Green Man, who will then have a different costume, which is a little bit more like classic-ish, maybe kind of how sort of deal. It actually fits with Green Man and kind of how I looked it up, or at least it's one of the variances of the costume. So I definitely kept the head portrait for him. His portrait though, again, painted to the nines, all the little green boils, the mask is a different green to the skin, all the folds, the ripples, the texture, that is just awesome. And again, I like how the Platinum has a different costume to the regular so that not every single Green Lantern looks the same. It's nice to kind of have some variances there. And then lastly, we have the other Platinum Edition head, which is Arcus Chamuk. So you can swip swap at your leisure. You can have that more rounded out green costume. You can have the full shoulders green. It's up to you. But Arcus, next to Tomar Ray, really has one of the standout head portraits. He's kind of the beast man, wolf man sort of deal of the Green Lantern Corps, like the teeth sticking out. He's awesome. And again, from the Green Lantern symbol, even though it's more of a textured costume as opposed to, say, the more digital collection Hal Jordan that was just released, I'm really good either way. I think that in terms of the Green Lantern core, which well, let me just show you, right? Let me just show you how good this all looks. So from Arcus to then Kyle to Green Man, and then you have the giant Kilowog from the Amazon pack, and you got Tomar and Hal and Abin Sur and rounded out with Jon Stewart right there in the middle. I mean, you've knocked out four characters with these two packs, even though you need four figures, but you get the idea. That is a great spread in and of itself. Now let's get some female members a going and in terms of the villains and I know a lot of people are gonna say Lobo's not a villain he's an anti-hero you put him in there we're just having fun here Mongol Necron you have Atrocitus there are so many characters that can lend themselves to the Green Lantern Corps that McFarlane has already put out this is fun now what's not fun is hunting down platinums and rare figures and all that jazz because it really throws people off. There are a ton of figures I haven't even found yet. So again, really tread lightly with the platinums, but when you have a full DC multiverse collection like this, it really does stand out. So that is going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Collector's Edition Green Lantern, the standard and the platinum. And I'm going to say as a finisher, this is one of the best action figure packs that they have put out as a single character thus far. I understand about the Platinum, that's not fun, we've already gone over that. But in terms of ditching the card stand, 
loading it up with an extra head portrait so you can have two characters. You got multiple hands, multiple power effects. This is the best in terms of just an overall complete package if you want a Green Lantern figure. Well done. Together as a community, we let them know our thoughts and they did it. So for that, keep this going, but really stop it with the platinum. Stop it with the rare chases. Stop it in general. You're losing people. I'm telling you, you're losing people from the DC Multiverse line. They're dropping off. And I don't want to see that because of figures like this, you got something great here. Those retailers, they want people in their store, but they're going to start seeing less and less DC Multiverse collectors. So, You've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse, and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, more of this. More of these powers and hands and heads and everything else. It's fun. This was fun to put together, but I'm going to tell you, you need a DC Multiverse buddy in order to stay in the collecting ring of McFarlane Toys. Without your friends... Without someone looking out for you 24-7, just as you would do for them, collecting these are going to be a pain. And that's really not fun at the end of the day. But more on that later when we talk about more figures. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.